I'm Isabella and I'm Shay and Google is for college students the most accessible um, search engine on the planet and it's way easier than using things like these to find information for classes or even if you're just interested in googling things like how to make mac and cheese or <laughs> who was Queen Victoria the third but we never actually thought about how Google actually works. Like, do you know how Google actually works before this video? Nope. Nope, me either. So we went to go ask some of the girls in our sorority if they knew how Google worked before actually discovering the answer for ourselves. So how do you think Google works? Um, I mean, I would assume that Google takes the uh, words that you put in your search and then has some sort of way of very quickly searching the entire internet to pull up keywords um, and then produces those search results based on relevance. How do you think Google works? Um, it does something where it like <laughs> so true. Um, gives you the like top results or the ones that are like have the most like links on other pages. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think Google works. Um, okay, basically, I think, so when I start searching something, like how to, or like, or like if I search a celebrity or something, the most common search will like pop up, probably, for, and then I can just like, I don't even have to type out all, all of the, my question most of the time, um, and then like the first um, results that come up are usually like ads, but yeah, and also like they're the, the the most applicable to like what I usually look at usually um yeah yeah no how do you think google works so google is kind of like big brother it just oh, yeah. no <laughs> okay so Carmel's majoring in ECE so let's hope that she realizes it's not quite like big brother here's how it actually works so first Google has to search the whole World Wide Web for all of its websites so it can figure out what to actually pull up. And the World Wide Web is really, really big, so this takes a really long time, but Google does this with a process called crawling. First, Google will use these things called spiders to search the World Wide Web by crawling. So these things called spiders will first go to a few web pages that Google already knows, then go to links and sitemaps that are on those web pages and add it to like a really big list of web pages that Google has. There's also a way for users to submit new websites, such as personal ones, for Google to crawl. And then those websites are added to the list, and it's like a really big list. And then once the spiders find all of these websites, they actually have to figure out what's on the website so it knows what results to pull up and when. So say we take my favorite website, cs.cmu.edu slash tilde 110, and it has a picture and a video and a content tag. Google will look at all of these things and add all of this information to this really big database that's even longer than the list of sites because it has like all of these things for every site. So it's just like this really big database of all this information that is on these websites and this process is called indexing and Google will literally do this for every single website that it finds so it obviously takes a really long time as well. But the processes of crawling and indexing happen before you even type anything into the search bar. So what actually happens when you Google something, this is when the word like algorithm comes into account because Google does have a search algorithm and it is called Google sorting algorithm. And so whenever you Google something, Google will take into account things like language and location and other different factors um, into account before scanning its index and returning an ordered list of results, except there there's like 200 of these factors and Google is kind of secretive about what factors and what algorithm they use, but all we know is that you can't pay to boost your results. And here's basically Google's algorithm summed up. If you search the term CMU in Grand Junction, Colorado, and the term CMU in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, you would probably end up getting different results. In Grand Junction, Colorado, you would probably come up with Colorado Mesa University, and in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, you would probably end up with Carnegie Mellon University. And this is because Google does take into account these factors such as location, maybe even elevation before returning turning an order list of results of websites from its index and from its crawling. 
So to recap what Google does when you Google something, first it scans the entire web by using these little algorithm type things called spiders to search websites and find different websites from the websites that it ends up on. After it crawls for all these new websites, it will look at what's on the website and add things like pictures, keywords, content tags, videos into a large database so that way it can return good results. And lastly, it will look at a bunch of different factors such as location and language before returning turning a sorted list of results to best suit your needs and what Google really thinks that you are trying to find. Although Google isn't just like Big Brother and it's not watching everything you're doing, it does kind of just know what you're looking for through a process of algorithms and computer science. So the next time you Google something, you're not going to be left in the dark wondering how you got there. All right, so in conclusion, we not only found out how Google works, but uh, most people's misconceptions about it. So we also hope that you learn more about this search engine and how it works, and you don't even know, but you could be working for Google in about four years if you go here to CMU. So this, this has been, been our 110 term project. Bye.